It's time for eyeshadow. This is my B Mesmerizing eyeshadow trio. Um, this is in the palette of Earth, which is an incredibly universal palette. And there's always three shades I like to use, a highlight, a midtone, and a contour. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I like to apply these. First, I start off with the highlight shade. And I always like to put this, I need a big mirror because I need glasses. So at first I put it right underneath the eyebrow, like so. And what happens is, I mean, if you're going through treatment, you're probably very tired. And if you want to wake up the face, defining the eye is a great way to look fresh and awake. And so this highlighter is the good step to bring in that light and the light is energy and you bring in that underneath the brows, lifting the eye, waking it up. I also like to put it on the inside corner of the eye because we tend to recede right there as we get older, when we're going through things, when we're tired, this can get really dark. And what you don't wanna do is put in a lot of heavy makeup in there. You just pop a little highlight and sparkle. All right, now the mid-tone shade, that in-between shade, and that color, we are going to sweep across the eyelids. So just from the lash line up into the crease, that is where that mid-tone shade goes. See that? And I created my Be Mesmerizing eyeshadow trios from Carmen D Beauty because they're like a watercolor. The last thing you need to do is to be struggling with opaque, thick, chalky eyeshadows that are dusty and you put it on you're like whoa and then you got to tone it down you can't go wrong with these foolproof they're like a watercolor they're sheer you can even put it on with your finger all right so now we're ready for the contour shade in the trio the earth trio so i've got this amazing double-ended brush so first i'm going to pick up the dark shade the contour shade and i'm going to just start sweeping that at the outer corner of the eye and then I'm going to sweep it into the crease very lightly just for some eye definition. If you have hooded eyelids you just tap the back of your eyeball with the brush and then sweep back and forth and that will give it the definition it needs. 